Waymo's AI cars had 78% fewer crashes than humans and 92% fewer injury claims. Here's what the co-CEO of Waymo said about it. I want to get to something that Gary was talking about, which is the pathways to getting more robo-taxis across US roads. And data's really important here. One data set that you are proud of is uh, the latest 33 million miles driven, the outperformance of Waymo driver relative to human drivers. Sometimes that can sound like a metric that's made up in the favor of your industry. Um, but why do you have faith in that metric and why is it important to put in front of regulators and to put in front of the public? We've been very focused on transparency. This isn't an industry, as Gary said, that has a national framework. And so in the case of this 33 million miles, we found, and this is compared to human drivers, we found um, that there were 78% fewer injury-causing crashes and 81% fewer airbag deployment crashes. That's like, you know, it's important in two ways. One way it's important because it says this is already better than a human. This is something that we shouldn't be afraid of. We should accept that the status quo isn't good enough and there's an option to improve the status quo. The other thing it says is autonomous vehicles aren't perfect. We're not entering, like this is a really important point. It's not that they're going to be perfect, it's that there's, there's, they're going to be so much safer. And the other study that we just announced um, at the same time of this one, unlike the other study where we're looking at human drivers, that study is looking at insurance claims. And what we found is that the reduction in personal injury claims um, was 92% and the reduction in property damage claims was 88%. So when you have these kinds of numbers, we shouldn't be debating about whether or not this is gonna improve road safety. We should just be figuring out the way to ensure that the safety bar is adequate for whoever puts these kinds of cars on the road to be able to do so.